I've been thinking about wardrobe building a lot lately. My personal sewing time is pretty limited, so I want to make sure that what I make will fit seamlessly into my me-made wardrobe. So this week, I'm sharing a review of all of my summer sewing, some old and some new, with links to the video tutorials that will help you extend the life of your sewing patterns and put your own me-made wardrobe together too. I'm Alexandra Morgan. I teach pattern making and fitting to people who love to sew. You'll find loads of pattern making and fitting tutorials at inhousepatternstudio.com that will elevate your sewing. Here's a closer look at the items I made and how I managed to make them all work together to make the perfect summer wardrobe. This summer sewing started with this pattern. This is McCall's 6083 and it's a jumpsuit pattern. I recently did a tutorial on how I created this pattern to fit me. So you might want to take a look at that tutorial. I'll definitely leave links to all the tutorials that I'm going to mention in this video somewhere on this page. So make sure that you do check the description of the video or scroll down below because there's going to be lots of really great information. So as I said, summer sewing started with this jumpsuit pattern and if you watch the previous video you'll know I never intended to ever make a jumpsuit again. The idea of bathroom breaks has always been a thing but I decided to kind of embrace it a little bit because I found this beautiful fabric at Blackbird Fabrics. It's a Swiss dot and it's a viscose and it just seemed so perfect for this sort of jumpsuit style. And I thought this is such an easy sew with no major closures. I just thought it was the perfect summer thing. I love this jumpsuit and it's definitely something I'm gonna wear over and over and over again. And I'm definitely going to make it again, especially probably summers to come. This is McCall's pattern 6083. It is out of print, but I'm sure you'll find an alternative if you're interested. The tutorial for this pattern is called How to Fit Before You Sew. I share how I assess and fit the pattern based on my personal body measurements so I can skip the muslin sample. Now I also created this dress from the McCall's jumpsuit pattern as well. You can see that the top of the garment is exactly the same as the jumpsuit here, but all I've done is I've switched out the pants for a skirt. So this skirt is very, very simplified. It, since it's got an elastic waist, it's really, really easy to draft. So it was a really, really quick sew and just as comfortable as the jumpsuit and no bathroom issues. Now from this, I was seeing a lot of these sort of loose, floaty, elastic waist pants in the stores. So I decided to take the same sewing pattern, McCall's 6083, and create pants from this jumpsuit. And it turned out beautifully as well. When you spend time fitting a garment to your body measurements and shape, creating other garments from it becomes really easy. So my next tutorial for the summer, which if you've missed it, you definitely wanna watch this one too. I show you how to take this jumpsuit and create pants from it. The jumpsuit pattern actually doesn't have pants on it, but I show you how to do that. Easy, breezy, elastic waist pants, so, so comfortable. Also happens to be in exactly the same fabric, which is a Swiss dot from Black bird fabrics. So I bought actually several colors of this fabric because it's just so nice, beautiful and floaty. Now from there, I thought what a great little outfit to create. I created this top next. I thought it was a really breezy outfit to go with these floaty pants. This is the Lila sewing pattern, which I have created tutorials inside the sewing pattern for you to create this flutter sleeve and this tie front detailing. Now you don't need to purchase the pattern to get the tie front detailing. I have a link for you if you want to create a tie front on a similar type pattern. But this is basically the Lila sewing pattern and I've just made some styling details to differences to it. 
One of the great things about the Lila sewing pattern is that it's actually a little mini class in both fitting and pattern making. What I've done is I've given you a base pattern, the Lila sewing pattern. Um, here's the example of the of the flutter sleeve version that I, I've got for you. That one's inside the course. That pattern actually has lots of little tutorials that will teach you how to manipulate that basic sewing pattern into several other styles. There's a dress, there's how to sew an inseam pocket. There's so many little tutorials within that little mini class. It's got so much value. So definitely check out the Lila top. You'll also get some of my other tutorials uh, that are included for this top uh, on my website. So don't forget to uh, also look there as well. If I can think of them, I will definitely drop them in the description of this video if I can, or I'll give you a link to my blog post or my video blog post on my website. But this was such a great addition to my summer wardrobe. This is a viscose crepe. It was also purchased from Blackbird Fabrics uh, quite some time ago. I don't believe that it is in stock anymore, but I'm sure you could find something very similar, perhaps even a little bit brighter than this, but it was perfect to go with my floaty pants. This outfit is made up of the pants I made from the jumpsuit and the lila top with the flutter sleeve and tie front detail. I'll leave links to these tutorials for you on this page. Now, to go with this as well, I found that the Claire shorts was a perfect addition as well. So I put these two together for a really quick summer outfit as well. Uh, the Claire shorts, again, are a, quite an old pattern. I've had the Claire shorts on my website for quite some time. I'll see if I can find it. This is the Claire shorts. They're just a basic little short uh, with a little front pleat. Lots of great details about sewing. So my background is in the fashion industry and I learned uh, fashion industry garment construction methods. So whenever you purchase any of my patterns, those are the methods that you're going to see inside the pattern. And this is a great way I have of sewing the front fly and also uh, creating, uh, doing the construction for the waistband as well. This is a contour waistband. It sits slightly below the waist, about two inches below the waist. And I think the inseam is about three inches. Super easy to make the inseam longer though. And if you're not sure how, just drop me an email and I will quickly, quickly tell you. So that's the Claire shorts and that's with the little variation of the tie front top. In this outfit, I paired the Claire shorts with the Lila tie front top. If you wanna learn how to sew a front zipper fly the professional way, I've got the perfect tutorial for you. I'll share it below. Now also when you have these shorts and you make them in a very, very basic or very uh, neutral color, you can wear it with almost anything. This is the Cool Cowl Tank from In-House Patterns as well. I made this one quite a few summers ago and I've actually took it out of my rotation but it's back in again because it goes so well with these Claire shorts. So again, that's one of the patterns that we have. This neckline is actually quite Low, but I do have tutorials for you on how to raise the neckline of a cowl neck top if you find that it is too low or even if you have another pattern where you have a cowl neck top and it seems too low you can always uh, check out that tutorial because it's applicable to pretty much any type of pattern. So that's the cool cowl tank so that's part of the wardrobe as well which goes really well together. The Claire shorts made up in this medium weight denim go with everything. Here I've paired it with the cool cowl tank. If you find you need some guidance fitting a cowl neck top, I've got tutorials that will show you how to raise the neckline and change the cup size. The cool cowl tank also goes really well with the pants I made from the McCall's jumpsuit. This version of the cool cowl is made from a jersey knit fabric that I purchased at Fabricana several years ago. And of course the Jenny T is going to go with this as well. The shorts are actually made out of a denim so that makes them a little bit extra special in terms of being able to go a long way. This is the Jenny T which I know you've heard me talk about before. 
and uh, basic tea pattern. It comes in A, B, and C, D cup sizes. So definitely has some fitting options for you there. So that's the Jenny T. The Claire shorts also go perfectly with the Jenny T. If you'd like some guidance on fitting knits, I've got several tutorials that feature the pattern, which guide you in understanding stretch ratio, making cup size adjustments, as well as upper back contour adjustments. I'll link to those for you here as well. Here's the Jenny T shown with those super comfy floaty pants from the McCall's jumpsuit pattern. If you missed that tutorial, I'll share a link on this page. The other thing that this these Claire shorts went really, really well with is the Blossom blouse. Now the Blossom blouse is about to be reissued onto my website. Um, I'm just going to update the uh, printing formats because I found that those were a little bit outdated. So I'm gonna upload those to the website very, very soon. And so you're gonna get an option for the uh, Blossom blouse. The Blossom blouse is a really great little blouse. It's just a popover blouse with sort of a keyhole neckline but it's got these great elbow length little puffed sleeves it's really really pretty on um, so I really love that there's a back yoke styling to this particular blouse and I like to use back yoke for styling simply because it helps you disguise that need for a shoulder dark. So if you have a little bit more rounded back, you can disguise more shaping in a yoke without adding darts, like visible darts. So I find that it's kind of like a stealth way to still get lots of shaping in the back uh, without having to actually create darts. And I will actually have some tutorials on back yokes and you know how to eliminate them, um, how to, uh, I think I've even got the rounded back uh, uh, on a on a yoke uh, tutorials as well I'll see if I can find those for you as well the blossom blouse is featured in this outfit the proportions seem just right for wearing with the Claire shorts the blossom blouse has a few dedicated tutorials as well one of which shows you how to increase or decrease the bicep girth on the pattern here we have the jumpsuit pants again paired with the blossom blouse I find a belt always elevates an elastic waist pant. And of course we have the regular uh, Lila blouse. This is the Lila blouse pattern as well. And you'll see it has the back yoke as well. Basic fitted sleeve and it has the band around and a little lovely twist at the front. This one I made shorter than the actual pattern which I actually like better so that's a really high recommendation from me is just to shorten up this blouse if you find that this particular detailing is hanging in the wrong spot around the tummy for you. Really easy to do because I have a tutorial for you inside the Lila sewing pattern little mini class that shows you how to uh, reduce the length of the top if you need to. So this is really great to go with the uh, shorts as well. I don't think I have a uh, picture of this on me, but I just realized as they were, I was hanging here that these go really well together as well. Now with that Lila top, actually, I, we can add the uh, Ellen pant. So this is the Ellen pant. I have lots of tutorials on fitting pants, uh, specifically the Ellen pant. So uh, if you want to purchase the pattern, there are tutorials on fitting the pattern that will go with it just free for you on my website which of course the tutorials will apply to any pant pattern. So you don't have to have the Ellen pant. You can definitely take a look at those tutorials and still get some help with fitting pants. In this outfit, I'm showing the Ellen pant with view A of the Lila top. To see all the fitting and design project tutorials included with your Lila pattern purchase, be sure to visit the links below. I'll share links to all the pant fitting tutorials as well. The other thing that I did is I spent a little bit of time with the Kayla sewing pattern. Now the Kayla sewing pattern is the one that we use when we study fitting essentials. So Kayla is the pattern that 
comes with is a part of the Fitting Essentials class. So the Fitting Essentials course is another one that comes out every year. The next time I'm going to run the Fitting Essentials course is going to be in the fall of 2024. So if you want to be on that list, uh, definitely there's a wait list and I will uh, send out emails when that's ready to go so that you know when to join. Uh, but in essence, we have this basic pattern. It's a shirt pattern that we use to experiment and understand how to fit our bodies using the fitting essentials method. Now this pattern, again, is only available inside the course, but if you take fitting essentials, you will definitely have a copy of this inside the course. Now from this pattern, once you fit it to perfection using the fitting essentials fitting method, you're going to find that you'll have a basic block that you can use to create many, many other styles. So I've created quite a few from my blog. The first one here, this is one of the first ones here, and you can see I'm quite enamored with the flutter sleeve here. Button front, and I've created a V-neck. So I've taken off the collar, I've redesigned the neckline, but the fit of this particular top is going to be so good because I spent so much time fitting the Kayla shirt. Here I've paired the Kayla shirt redesign with the Ellen pants. You can use the flutter sleeve tutorial from the Lila mini class to alter the sleeve style. I'll also share a tutorial on button rules so that you'll know how to perfectly place your buttons and buttonholes on any placket. So from this, I also created three different dresses. So those dresses are this 100% linen, a great way to take a shirt pattern even further is to make a shirt dress. This one is 100% linen from Gala Fabrics. It turned out really well, so I shared some tips for creating this dress in a quick tutorial. I'll leave a link to that one below. This style, then of course, because it was fit, to, the Kayla pattern was fit to perfection, I used that pattern to create this particular dress. And then I went to make this one and I added more, more gathers and some tiers. I decided to embrace the tiered skirt trend and created this dress from the blue linen one you saw earlier. This fabric is a viscose print from Fabricland. And then I actually went a little simplified and I just put a simple v-neck, the flutter sleeve, and created a gathered skirt dress from this. This dress is just a slight variation on the previous one, also using a viscose print from Fabricland. I changed the neckline and removed the bottom tier for a really easy wearing summer dress. So those three dresses came from one pattern, the Kayla pattern, which I spent a lot of time fitting to my body shape and making sure it was comfortable and, and everything was working before I created other patterns from it. It's so excellent when you have a basic block pattern that you can use to create other styles. It makes takes fitting out of the equation and you can get beautiful garments so much more quickly and easily by having that base pattern that fits you perfectly. So that's it for the garments that I created uh, for the summer and in previous summers as well. There's kind of a mix here, but I wanted to show it to you to see how beautifully things can kind of work together and it makes dressing so easy when you can sew mead made garments that all work together. So planning it through and sort of thinking about what garments to make and how you're gonna wear them is really going to make your sewing more fun dressing more fun and you're actually going to get so many more compliments on the sewing that you do do because you'll be able to mix and match them and everything will work together. So tell me, are you mindful of creating a me made wardrobe that works together? I'd love to know. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment there. Message me via email at alexandra at inhousepatterns.com or visit me on Instagram. I'm at at in-house patterns. If you'd like to explore the sewing patterns that I've used or want to dive into some of the video tutorials that I've created for these garments, I've left links for you on this page. 
Scroll, click, watch, and read for all the details. I'll chat with you soon. Bye for now.